Hola mi gente, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and this is We Are Investing. On today's video, we are going to go over Lucent Motors because there's information that we need to talk about. This is new information that I think you're going to find very, very interesting. Also, we're gonna talk about if there's manipulation right now regarding this stock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit you with the information up front, just the facts, and then we'll dive into more detail. We'll head into the computer later in this video. If you like quick information up front, then hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that like button so you do not miss another video when it comes to the stock market. Now, real quick, what are the facts? Well, there is a lockup that is going to expire on January 19th of 2022. This lockup is important because the PIF could be selling shares. The PIF has a huge, huge stake in this company. The PIF is the public investment fund of Saudi Arabia. And in that investment fund, they own more more than a billion shares of Lucid Motors. Now, I do not know for sure what price they were able to get the stocks for, but I do know that they invested in Lucid Motors in a private round of funding where they were able to achieve a majority stake, so more than 50% for $1 billion. This occurred back in September of 2018. We'll dive into more detail later in this video when we head on over to the computer. But if we assume that they just acquired 50% and the stock right now is trading at a market cap of $75 billion, that means that they were able to turn $1 billion into $37.5 billion in just a couple of years. That is absolutely remarkable. It might be one of the greatest trades of all time. In addition to that, we also need to consider how big their position is right now. They are by far the number one holder in this company at around 62% of the company. If you take a look at number two, it's Michael Klein. Now the PIF has around 1 billion shares. Michael Klein at number two, the second largest insider, has only 52,000 shares. That is abysmal when you compare it to 1 billion. His stake in this company is at 2 billion. The PIF is at 46 billion. And the CEO, Peter Rollison, comes in at 1.6 billion. He has 39,000 shares. So there's a big difference between the top holder and the second largest and third largest holders for this company. Now, January 19th is coming around the corner. And I do suspect that the PIF is going to be selling some of the shares and maybe some other insiders as well because they were locked up and they weren't able to do so until after the lockup expires on January 19th. The reason why I say there might be manipulation for the stock is because of the share price activity over the last couple of days, particularly on Friday of last week and today. And some news came out today, which actually came out wrong and it drove the share price higher. And maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think the timing is very peculiar. On Friday, the stock moved around 9% off of no news. Today, it also had a massive day. And when the market opened, there was an article saying that an analyst gave Lucid Motors a buy rating, when actually that was not the case. He gave Rivian a buy rating and he gave Lucid Motors a neutral rating. But by the time that that information was already released, it was released wrong, saying that Lucent Motors was given a buy rating by an analyst, the stock went soaring. And then when some other articles came out and said that it was a neutral rating, it had no impact on the stock. We'll go over that analyst rating in more detail in the video. Now, before we head on over to the computer, I just want to let you know that Webull currently is running a promotion where you can get two free stocks worth up to $2,300. In addition to that, if you want to support this channel, you can join the Patreon. It's $5 a month. It'll give you access to valuation spreadsheets. It will give you access to a private Discord server of over 500 investors, and it will also give you access to meetups. A link is provided down below. Now let's hop on over to the computer and take a look at this in more detail. Let's do it. Now here's the news that came out right before market open today at 9.29 a.m. It says that Redburn initiated coverage on Lucid Group with a buy rating. That's all the information it gave. Now you got this on Charles Schwab. You got this on Thinkorswim. You got this on all your ma major brokerages in the news. This was news that was released at market open and it sent the stock soaring at open. But actually, if you look at what happened on investing.com, Rivian Automotive shares are up more than 4% 
percent Tuesday after Redburn analyst Charles Coldicott started the company shares at a buy with a $141 fair value estimate. On Lucid, the analyst sets a $39 fair value estimate saying the company has a great product. He added that the company's powertrain technology surpasses Tesla in some aspects. However, the analyst said that Rivian is more directly competing with Tesla with his debut model and therefore he sees more significant risks. And if you take a look at tip ranks, we can confirm what Yahoo Finance was actually saying. Lucid Motors at a hold and Rivian at a buy. And both of those coverages were initiated today. Now, this is a major fund for a major country. And you have to consider portfolio management and risk management as well. And if you take a look at their U.S. equity holdings, if you exclude Lucid, it's only around $15.9 to $17.7 billion. And Lucid right now with a 62.72% stake in a $75 billion company that gives you around $46 billion. So that is almost three times their total exposure of U.S. equities if you would back out Lucid. It's way over leverage if you want any kind of diversification and any kind of risk management for a fund that is for a country. Now, if we take a look at the funding rounds for Lucid Motors, we can see that on September 17th, 2018, there was $1 billion raised by an investment of the Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. This is what we're calling the PIF. It was only them, it was $1 billion, and this investment gave them the majority stake in Lucid Motors, so at least 50%. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't see any other rounds of funding. I think this is the only time the PIF actually put money into Lucid Motors. If that is the case, don't quote me on this, because I could be wrong, but based on my due diligence, I think this is the case. If that is the case, then they were able to turn $1 billion into $46 billion. The most conservative or the most conservative case, if we just assume 50% and then they invested later at a higher price, well, then they were able to turn $1 billion into $37.5 billion. Either way, you're looking at massive gains. But $1 billion to $46 billion dollars, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know of another investment over four years that has netted those kinds of returns. One billion into 46 billion and still climbing. We'll see when they actually sell. We'll see what happens with the stock after the lockup. Okay, let me know in the comment section down below what you think is going to happen with Lucid Motors come January 19th. Outside of that, I will catch you all on the next video. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing, and together we are invincible. See ya.